Welcome back to Maddencast, and it's week one. Freddie T, I know you can't wait to see your favorite rookie take flight. RC, that's right. I've... It's week one of the National Football League, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. It's the Lions and the Chiefs on Thursday night primetime. The drive will begin with a run by Edward Jaleur. And he's going to be dropped following a pick up of seven past the 30 to the 32. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second down, back to Edward Jaleur. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. On first down, Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Mahomes on the give to Edward Jaleur. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season, already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Now Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. First down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter for Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they go to work on a first. On second down, a run with Edward Zalera. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Checks on him. We'll step aside in this week one contest. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. 50 yards rushing for him in his first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Mahomes now on first down. 
Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Now for Patrick Mahomes and these Chiefs, they're trying to become the first team to repeat a Super Bowl champ since the Patriots in the 03-04 seasons. So we're going on 20 years here. What kind of chances do you give the Chiefs to pulling it off? Well, traditionally, we know how difficult those chances are. Oh, yeah. We can't get a repeat winner in the NFC East, so you know it's tough in the NFL to go back-to-back, -back, let alone win a Super Bowl. But here's the thing about this Still team. Culture, a word we use almost too often, is really ingrained in a positive way in Kansas City. Not only do they believe, but they've got a heck of a roster, too. Yeah, a nice throw here right side. He holds it in. Fans, a reminder, coming up at this and every halftime this season, we'll be checking in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando for highlights and analysis and scores from around the NFL here in this opening weekend. Let's put the coach to work. We'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. And Mahomes going to hustle him up to the line here. Mahomes to throw once more. And that'll be caught by Tony. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Mahomes going to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 34 yards. And the Chiefs have moved down in front. When you give up a long touchdown drive, you're looking for a silver lining. In this case, it's the fact that your offense had a chance to rest, and now they can come out in the field charged up and ready to go. Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But, but two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, and this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all. All right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero? like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear. Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. They go play action. Now Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. A well-executed 22-yard game. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And able to get this to the 31. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. 
Mahomes firing complete. And he'll go down at the 26, forming a gain of six. I was laughing. People say, what's the toughest route to defend? Not like any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short and shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. It's a gain of four, and it gets him the first. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edward Delaire. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Four catches now on this drive alone, and they can't stop him. It's another first down. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter. Just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, we're they about 95% chance. Oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. That's good for our Kansas City Chiefs. A pitch comes to Edwards Alaire. 85 yards rushing for him now here in week one. A very solid start to this new campaign. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And some room to work. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Looking left side, and it's complete. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now back to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. A great effort there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Chiefs are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. A shotgun snap and a give to Edward Zolaire. And he's gonna take this one down inside the 45. And now it looks like they're gonna be in the hurry up. Edward Zolaire, they'll try to run for it. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there. And it helps him move the sticks. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Well, partner, the season officially underway. It was Today, it was good. I was impressed today, but I'm not ready to send him to camp. Come on, I'm not, I'm not saying that. You don't have to send him to Canton, but he did have an excellent debut. For more on Cap down the road, tune in to Maddencast. Welcome to Maddencast, and it's the start of a new season, and Fred is pumped for his boy. 
Metcalf, he had a great rookie debut. That's right, RC, my favorite rookie. Didn't take long to prove that he is an impact player. Prove what? It was one game. I had a good game every now and again. Just say you were impressed by what Cap did today. Today, it was good. I was impressed today, but I'm not ready to send him to Canton. Come on, I'm not, I'm not saying that. You don't have to send him to Canton, but he did have an excellent debut. For more on Cap down the road, tune in to Maddencast. Welcome to Maddencast, and it's the start of a new season. And Fred is pumped for his boy Cap. He had a great rookie debut. That's right, ours. It's Madden NFL 24, and we're going to see Travis Etienne. He had a nice effort a week ago with a pair of touchdowns. It's the Jags and the Chiefs. All that and more coming up next. They run with the second-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. You look at this Jaguar defense coming into this one ranked number 19 in the NFL against the Pats. And from analyzing them and talking with their defensive coordinator, we know they have a full playbook. So look for them to mix up coverages, pressure one play, fall back the next. They'll do a lot of different things trying to confuse the offense. On second down, here's Mahomes. And this one is incomplete. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. You've got to shake that off and get going. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. He'll look to throw. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The Chiefs at 1 0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to take care of business in front of the home crowd last week. Yeah, it's always nice to get that opener at home, but now things get a little bit tougher. The good thing for them, though, is they take a little extra confidence with them when they head out on the road. 23 yards to pick up there. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So they get the ball on the opening drive. They take it in for the score. And how about setting the tone right away? Everyone talk. Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. The numbers for him from a week ago. Ten catches, 109 yards, and a touchdown. And one of the top receiving games in the league in week one, and they're expecting those types of games from him each and every time out, and they're going to need that from him if they want to make a move towards a league title. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. So he's stuck for no gain. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Third and inches, they just hand it to the big battering ram there. That's, I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. They go play fake. Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. Brings up second and five at the Jaguars' 26-yard line. 
And it's straight. It's Pacheco. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. It's here to pick up the first down. On play action, it's Mahomes. A throw right side taken in by the tight end, Gray. And he will have a Chiefs first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. Now here's Mahomes. Able to find Gray here. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Running left to give to Pacheco. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 61 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Two minutes to play first half. It's 14 to nothing. Ball on the 27. Here's second and a yard. Mahomes now to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. On first down, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Throwing left side, it's complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. A dump down to McKinnon. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Jacksonville's pass defense holds serve. Fourth down. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice time. Hello. 
They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Now Mahomes. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They're going to hurry back to the line now. And the first down, Chiefs. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. And he's across the 40. Three extra yards to the 43. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 37. Mahomes going to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Mahomes now on first down. This is caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 23 yards, the final tally. Just picking up yardage in bunches in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They fake the give. Now Mahomes going down the middle, and it's complete. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. Inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. But not so fast. No, not at all. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Mahomes to throw on second down. Open man is Fortson. He's got it. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. And a timeout taken. Just... Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. Looking left side, and it's complete. And even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. Mahomes to throw. That's into the hands of Fordson. So the completion results there in nine yards. And...